Hi again. I'd like to continue with the shopping cart tutorial here. And, uh, you know, we've got our cart pretty much complete here with all of its JavaScript. And what I'd like to do now is create, you know, sort of an HTML interface to let us, you know, display, you know, items in the cart, add items to the cart, and, uh, you know, just see the JavaScript in the cart, you know, functioning, right, in, in, a, in the actual browser window. So... I'm going to start this by creating some HTML to, you know, to work with here in the body tag. So I'm putting everything above the script tag. And maybe we'll just keep this simple just to, you know, see it functioning. And I'm going to start with two divs. So one div right here will have a list of items that you can add to your cart. Okay. And I'll do these as link tags, you know, the anchor tag, okay? And, you know, the, um, the, the anchor here will be, you know, just the name of the item. So maybe this will be like an apple or something, right? And, uh, and then, you know, we'll, we'll put the price here. Maybe the price is $1.22 or something, right? And, you know, we might also need um, some other information. You know, it's, it's like this, this name is just the text and it does have the name and the price, but we'll need to separate those out so we can pass them to, to this add to cart function, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to make a new attribute here called data name and the name will be the name of the product. Okay, so actually we could make the link here anything, right? But this is going to be the actual name that gets added to the cart, okay? And then I'm going to make another one of these guys, data price, and then I'll put the price in here, okay? And then, you know, maybe I'll make a couple more of these links. Maybe I'll just copy this one, and it'll be a little faster there. Oops, and then I'll I'll paste it right, and maybe this one will be you know banana. Are bananas worth more than apples? I guess so, right? So there we go. There's another item. Maybe I'll add a, a third item here. This will be shoe. Shoes are probably worth like twenty two dollars or something, right? We could make a better system for this too, but that's a, like sort of another subject. So, you know, we'll just do this stuff manually here. But, you know, essentially you're going to click on this link and or one of these links. And then our JavaScript is going to grab the name and the price from these two attributes here, these custom attributes, right? And, uh, and then create an item in the cart with it, okay? Um, <clears throat> So uh, so we're kind of started here. Let me add another item. Maybe we need um, a Frisbee. You guys all know what a Frisbee is, right? It's probably worth like five bucks. Right? Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, maybe that's good enough for now. And you could add more items if you want, right? And then maybe I also need a, a button to, um, to uh, clear the cart. So I'll, I'll make a button here. This will be called clear cart, right? And um, maybe, you know, I've, I've got these links here, right? Um, but I need to display the cart item somewhere, right? So maybe I'll make another div. So these links, they kind of display the products you can buy, but I want to actually see what's in your cart. So maybe... I'll put this down here and uh, you know I'll just make an empty list. You know we can get more sophisticated later once we see this working and see how it's going to function. But for right now, and this will be our list of items for the cart, right? For things that you can buy. Okay, and you can click on these links to add them to your cart. And then down here, whenever you add an item to the cart, it'll appear on the list. Right, So the idea here is every time we add an item to the cart, we're going to use the list cart function to regenerate 
the HTML that's in here, okay? And I'm going to just use a list again, so it'll list them similar. It'll look a little different, but it'll be similar to this, right? And if you click the clear, bar button, the clear cart button, it should delete everything here. Okay, so we should probably give these guys an ID. Maybe these um, these links right here should all have a class name too, just to make it easy to work with. So I'll do, um, you know, add to cart. How about that? That's pretty good, right? Um, and then this one, add to cart, add to cart, and add to cart, right? And... Um, Maybe the clear button right here. Let's give this guy an ID. Clear cart, right? And uh, maybe this UL right down here. We'll call this um, ID show cart, okay? So, you know, we're almost set up. So the last step that I want to do is I want to use jQuery to, to help me out, um, you know, manipulating the the HTML elements here in the in the page so what we'll need to do is we'll need to add jQuery to our document so to do that I'm gonna go to jQuery.com here and here we are and then I'll click on the uh, the download button here. And if you're not familiar with jQuery, um, I have a couple of videos on J like introducing jQuery. They're just short and simple, um, so you can check those out. And uh, yeah, so I'm I'm down on the you know download jQuery. So I click download right, and I'm gonna scroll down the page a little ways until I get to using jQuery with a CDN. And essentially, the CDN is like you know. Uh, it stands for Content Delivery Network, and the idea is the jQuery is hosted on someone else's server, and we're just going to download from their server, so we don't actually have to have the files on our, you know, on our computer, right? So I'm going to copy this first line here and paste it into my document at the top in the head tag, right? And I'll have to do one thing, right? I don't know why they do this, but they, they leave the HTTP colon out of here. So you got to make sure to add that in. If you're working off a server, you don't need it. But since I'm working off the desktop, you know, like a, on a local file, it has to have this or it doesn't work. Um, so I'm going to add that in. And there we go. Now we've got jQuery, okay? So we're pretty much set, right? Um, so I think we're pretty good there. Why don't we scroll down a little ways, and I'm going to find my script tag at the bottom here. Oh, here it is, right? And I'll add my jQuery stuff. Maybe I'll put a comment here with a bunch of stars, right? And that'll be... This will be all the shopping cart functions, right? Okay, and then above here will be our jQuery stuff. So what do we want to do first? Well, first of all, I've got these links here called add to cart. They're class add to cart, right? I want to give them a click function. So when you click them, they collect the name and the price and then add this item to the cart. So what we'll do is we'll say jQuery dot add to cart and then we'll say click. Okay? And then we'll put a function in here. So we've got, you know, jQuery selector dot click, and then we'll put a function here. And the idea is, you know, jQuery is going to select all the items with the class add to cart, and it's going to add a click function to them. And then whenever you click them, you know, click on one of these guys with add to cart, it's going to execute this function here. So inside the parentheses, we're going to add this variable called event. So this, this function works just like the functions we created, and you can pass a, a parameter to it. And it gets passed a, an event parameter automatically, and that event parameter describes the event that just occurred. It tells you, like, what happened, like, you, did you click, or something like that. Um, it also tells you where you clicked on the screen, and then it gives you some other little helper functions, and one of those functions is called prevent default and we want to use this right now usually you don't want to use this 
you know, sometimes you do, but like in our case, we definitely want to use it. The prevent default um, function prevents the links from doing their default behavior. So a lot of times pressing the link will refresh the page. In this case, since I put the hash mark here, it'll just jump to the top of the page, but I'm going to prevent that, okay? Because I don't want the link to do what it normally does. Instead, I'm going to handle the link with the JavaScript that I put here. So I know that if I cancel the default behavior, I'm going to be handling it and I'm going to be doing something with it. Okay, so now that we've got that, that figured out, now what I want to do is I want to collect the name and the price. So I'll make a variable here called name and I'll set it equal to this oops, dot attribute and this in jQuery terms with this function here is going to represent the link that you clicked on. So not all of them but just the exact one that you clicked on. Okay so if you click on the second one then this represents this anchor tag right here, the second anchor tag. And then when we do dot attribute or ATTR, it allows us to access one of the attributes. And so we could access any of these, like I could put in, you know, href and it would give me the value here. In my case, I actually want data name. So I'm gonna say data name like that and that'll give me the value associated with data name for the link that you clicked on. Okay, and um, next we'll get the price, and we'll say this dot attribute, and the attribute I want is data price, right? And the price is actually a number, but the attribute is going to return it as a string. So what we'll do is we'll we'll convert it into a number with the number function here. Okay, so we just say number uppercase and then we put a value here and it'll, you know, if that value can be converted to a number, then it'll get converted to a number, right? Okay, so now that we've we've got those guys, now we can um, we can add them to the cart by calling add item to cart. And there we go, right? So we'll say add item to cart. We'll add the name that we got, the price that we got, and then maybe, you know, when you click the link, it'll just add one item to the cart, okay? Um, and there we go, right? So uh, so that looks pretty good. Um, let's do one more thing, right? So now I want to see items get listed here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll make a function and call it display cart. Okay? And so the display cart function is going to fill this UL full of list items for each item in the cart. So the first thing it'll do is it will get the array from list cart and then it will loop with a for loop through each item in the cart array. Okay, so for i in cart array will loop once and then what we'll do is we'll make a um, you know a string that we can display. So I'm actually going to put this outside here. I'll call it output. Right, and it'll be an empty string and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, output plus equals. This means append or add to the end of. So rather than rewriting or set resetting the value, we're going to just add more items to this every time we loop. Okay? And what I want to do is I want to add a list item like this. And then I want to get the name of each item in the cart and the count maybe. Okay? So what we'll do is we'll say um, cart array bracket i dot name. Oops, I got to put the dot there. I made a mistake. Right? And then uh, maybe we'll put a space. And then I'll put the square brackets here and we'll do cart 
array bracket i dot count okay and so this will you know it'll basically create you know a, a you know a list of these one one of these blocks right here inside output for each item in the card array right so this will be a whole bunch of text and then or this you know output will be a bunch of text and then what we'll do is we'll use that text to write list items into show cart and so to do that we'll do this we'll say dollar sign show cart dot html equals output okay right so um, when we write the the HTML, when we set the HTML, we're essentially overwriting everything that's, you know, inside this element, right? The show cart element, and I got to put the hash mark there because that's an ID, right? So let's give it a try. Oh yeah, one more thing, right? I forgot. Before we test it, we got to do one more thing. So if we want to display the cart every time we add an item, we'll have to call display cart here. So every time we click a button, we'll add an item to the cart, and then we'll display the cart, you know, fresh in here to update it. Okay, let's save it and test it. So I'll uh, I'll go to the browser here, refresh, and then there's my items there, and then uh, I'll add another apple there. Oh look, now I got six apples. There's three pairs. Oh, you know what? I made a mistake. These all say Apple, right? I got to fix that. But you can see here when I add this one, you can see, um, you know, it added one Frisbee. Oh, wait, let's add another Frisbee or maybe another Apple. Um, yeah, there's a couple bananas, right? I may need a bunch of these shoes, right? So it seems like it's kind of working. We'll do the clear cart and we'll we'll kind of work on the the view here a little more too in the future but anyway there we go there's our shopping cart kind of functioning right um, and displaying things in the browser so I, I hope that's useful to you um, and like I said we'll continue with this to do more with it in the future um, but that gives you a pretty good idea of you know how to work with JavaScript in sort of a practical way and thanks for watching